Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're going through the steps on how to create an image file from your DVD or CD. So you could have, for example, a Windows, a Mac, uh, any other sort of uh, bootable DVD or CD on your computer, and you want to know how to convert that into an image file so that you can boot it or, or save it, for example, uh, on your computer. So a good example would be, for example, with Boot Camp, uh, if you want to say run Windows 10 and you need an a, a image file to be able to load in and, and that way you don't have to have the DVD or the CD uh, physically connected into your Mac. So what we're going to do is I've got a DVD. Uh, this is an ESXi DVD, which is just a VMware sort of product. Uh, this is the DVD version. And we're going to go into on your spotlight where you want to look for disk utility. Now I am running uh, 10.11, which is El Capitan on the Mac. And we're going to convert this very easy to do. You can see that under external, I've got my DVD listed here. So this is the DVD it shows me that it's 341.4 megabytes big. And we're now just going to convert that into an image file. Very straightforward. So select the disk and you go file new image from and you want to select from your DVD ESXi 55 etc. All right, so this is the name of my DVD. You click on that encryption none. You can put encryption if you want to and what format read only. I'm going to say DVD CD master. Okay. And I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. So I'm leaving it the same name, saving it to desktop and the format's going to be DVD CD master and save. All right, you can actually see some details. So what that's doing now is it's going to start to read that DVD, copy all the files and compress it and put it into a ISO file that will be bootable that you can use at another stage. All right, you'll see that the DVD has just disappeared from here. It's because now the disk utility tool is uh, taking ownership of that DVD and is converting it to a image, all right, which is an Apple ISO format. All right, so let's just give that a little while and we'll check back once it's done. So that is it, nice and easy, created the disk uh, into the image, uh, operation was successful. If you don't see that, it didn't work, so I need to go through and try it again. Done. And you'll now see that on my desktop, I've got this esxi.cdr format, which is my image file from that DVD that I was just using there. So what you want to do then is you need to convert that CDR file into an ISO file. Very straightforward. You may already have the extension like I do. If you don't, on your finder, go into finder preferences and show all file name extensions. All right, so under the advanced tab, under the finder preferences, you want to tick on show all file name extensions, and then the file will get the extension at the end. And then all we're going to do is just, all right, select it, put, click on it again so that you can actually go and change it and change that CDR into ISO. And that will now change it to an ISO. You may get a warning saying, are you sure you want to convert it? Just say, yep. You want to change it to an ISO and you should be good to go from there. So now you should be able to use that ISO and boot from whatever device that you need. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos.